What's going on, YouTube? This is Ricky J. We are in San Antonio, Texas for the 2023 Royal Rumble. Well, I can't say it's the official Royal Rumble, brother, but we are going to be doing kind of like a simulation style. Well, we are going to be compiling a bunch of guys who I believe will be at the Royal Rumble and 15 guys that are confirmed. So right now we have Kofi Kingston, Santos Escobar, Ricochet, Baron Corbin, Austin Theory, Rey Mysterio, Gunther, Cody Rhodes, Omos, Drew McIntyre and Sheamus, Braun Strowman and Karrion Cross. okay? Um, I wanna let you guys know I'm gonna be using Cody Rhodes and for all you people that do not know, man, I am an 80s and 90s wrestling fan, all right? So I am like the old school style, and I just started getting into wrestling in 2022, and now I'm really watching it and following it, so it is just a lot of fun kind of going back to my roots, going back to my childhood where I really had um, some great memories and I cannot wait to see the actual Royal Rumble this weekend but I'm having gonna have a lot of fun with you guys today in this kind of mock Royal Rumble and maybe I won't get it right but uh, it's a ton of fun man and at the end of the day it's all about having fun making these videos so my prediction I am going to predict that The Rock is going to be inside this rumble also Brock Lesnar, but I'm going to predict that Cody Rhodes is going to do it. And I'm controlling Cody Rhodes. I don't know how I'm going to do, man. And uh, we'll do the best we can. But, um, man, I, I went through a bunch of sources to kind of get this roster. So it's a lot of fun. Look at this guy right here coming in. Mr. Cross himself. And Sami Zayn's Canadian. And I'm Canadian, by the way. And look at this big man. Rolling in, and, and this guy, he declared uh, during a vignette on SmackDown on January 20th. So they're starting to roll in. And as I'm recording this, today is January 24th. So maybe as the days go by, there'll be more names revealed. So <laughs> the Royal Rumble, though, is the most spectacular event, in my opinion. Just the... um. The element of the unknown of who's going to come in next is what makes it so much fun. Like, you just don't know who's going to come in, in what order, you know, what interactions are going to occur in the ring. That, to me, is what makes it fun. You know, seeing friends go at it, seeing foes, old foes go at it, seeing enemies work together. It's just... A ton of fun, but here we go. It's going to be Cross leading things off, baby. Going up against Mr. Sammy Zayn. Oh, man. <laughs> it's like a long intro, brother. Get with the program. Come on. People have things to do. As he's taking his sweet time. Again, he's in for the long haul, you know. You come in at one and two, you're going to be in there for quite some time. And you're going to have to overcome some adversity, brother. You're going to have to overcome a lot of adversity to make it to the top and punch your ticket to WrestleMania. Here we go. As Zayn and Cross leading things off inside this rumble. And what do you think of this arena? Are we going to see an early... Oh, nice duck under right there. Nice job kind of getting out of the way. Now, what do you think of this arena? It's supposed to kind of replicate the exact ring for this weekend. Like, did they confirm that? Or how do these people know, man? Is it Reddit? Here comes Seth Rollins at three. Seth Rollins rolling in at three. Let's see how Rollins does. And remember, we're controlling Cody Rhodes. So when we come in, man, it's going to be a lot harder to kind of <laughs> commentate over this one. But right now, you got Zayn trying to overcome 
the energy by Rollins. And I always love when they come into the ring. They just have that. A lot of those guys, man, they come in and they have so much energy. That amped up adrenaline. And they're just ready to let things go, man. Here comes Santos Escobar. So Santos Escobar, he confirmed on January 6th. He looks forward to eliminating Kofi Kingston <laughs> in the Royal Rumble. <laughs> so let's see. Oh, he's on the receiving end of a suplex. Rollins now against Cross. Cross with a nice job there on the reversal. Oh, look at this move. Oh, authoritative move by Mr. Cross. All right, here we go, man. Let's see who's coming in now. Is it going to be Cody Rhodes? It's Bobby Lashley. Now, Bobby Lashley, man, from a source that I read, he is going to be in there. So Bobby Lashley, tremendous athlete. And I've said this before on my channel, this guy doesn't get enough credit for his mixed martial arts success. He was so good in MMA, it's, he utilized his incredible wrestling, go figure, right? Um, to win most of his matches, pretty much all of his matches. I don't think he even lost. I think he went undefeated. Braun Strowman, the big man at six. Yeah, I think he did go undefeated. I gotta double check that. Oh, nice job with the suplex. I don't know if you could do that against Strowman. But let's see what happens here. Oh no, Mr. Ken, oh what a job! <laughs> Sammy Zane with a very intelligent move. He saw the big freight train coming at him. And it was like the movie Stand By Me. Gotta keep on running and dodge, brother. And he did a great job, but no. He still hasn't overcome that. Oh no! And he just got eliminated. Seth Rollins. Oh man, here comes Jimmy Uzo. Jimmy Uzo. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that was crazy. Santos Escobar kind of like teleported across the ring and missed on that leg drop there. Was that a leg drop or was that a butt drop? <laughs> that was so wild. <laughs> that was so wild. All right, who's coming in now, brother? Who is coming in now? Elias at eight. And let's see how Elias does coming in early. This guy kind of looks like the Macho Man. Oh, yeah, let me tell you something right now. Elias is a good guy, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so let's see how Elias does as Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins is looking very good here. I'm going to jinx him. Every time I... Uh oh every time I compliment guys in my videos, man, they always get eliminated. If you're new to this channel, man, I've compiled, like... Here comes Baron Corbin. I've compiled like what? Over a hundred Royal Rumble videos. Can you believe that? Over a hundred Royal Rumble videos featuring some of the greatest wrestling athletes of all time, past and present, and then some of the greatest characters of all time. So it's just wild, man. But speaking of wild, you got Bobby, oh no! Double elimination. Elias is done. Escobar is done as well. And Bobby Lashley survives. Here comes Solo Sokoa. And let's see how Solo does. Coming in Solo. <laughs> that was a bad joke, brother. That was a bad joke. But Seth Rollins is exhausted. I'm telling you, Seth Rollins is looking so good in this rumble, man. And uh, he's got a long way to go as Bobby Lashley. Oh, nice job there on cross. And now, oh, wait. No, that, was, that wasn't that wasn't carrying cross. That was carrying cross down low. That was Solo Sokoa. My apologies. They do look very similar. Here comes Kofi Kingston at 11. Let's see if Kofi Kingston could utilize his athletic ability here to stay inside this rumble. He's going right after Seth Rollins, who's looking a little bit exhausted here. You got Jimmy Uzo. What's he gonna do? He's loading up. Oh, sweet chin music on a downed opponent. 
And Bobby Lashley, slow to get to his feet. Oh, nice job by Lashley. Okay, here we go. Sheamus at 12. Sheamus. Oh. And there's an elimination there. Unbelievable. And now, oh, oh, big shot there by Bobby Lashley. And let's see what happens. Sheamus going after Jimmy Uzo. And Uzo doing a nice job staying in there. Bobby Lashley rocking and rolling against Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins taking a beating, but he's coming right back. Baron Corbin fighting, going after Kofi Kingston. Here comes Dominic Mysterio. And let's see if Rey Mysterio comes in at a certain point. It's Dominic Mysterio with business in the front, party in the back with that mullet of a haircut. And right away, he's, he's asking for mercy. But now he's going after Corbin. And he's successful. Uzo, nice job. Stifling Seth Rollins. And now, look at this. Mysterio trying to go after the big man. And typically what we see here in WWE 2K22. And it's re realistic. Here comes the Miz. Oh, what a move. Oh, he missed. But um, when the smaller wrestler tries to go after the big man, the small guy doesn't have the advantage or doesn't have much success rather when they're trying to just muscle their bigger opponent over the top rope and that is very realistic but when it's the tables turn the other way around the big man has an easier time and I hope they keep that they definitely will keep that it's that realistic feel that um, <laughs> makes the rumbles fun oh somebody landed on their head was that Seth Rollins and are we going to see The Miz? Didn't The Miz just get in here? But big man Bobby Lashley with an elimination. There goes Seth Rollins. And things are heating up now as Bobby Lashley just doing a heck of a job, man. Oh, wow, another elimination. Jimmy Uso is done. And this is absolutely wild, man. Oh, don't tell me Sheamus is going to be done. No, he stays in there. And Kofi Kingston. Oh, on the receiving end of a nice move by Bobby Lashley, who's just heating up. Dominic Mysterio looks hesitant, doesn't he? Oh, spine buster. And now Sheamus. Oh, Sheamus just couldn't go after Corbin like that. And he just got slammed right on the back of the head there. And he's coming up. He looks a little wobbly. And here we go. Here's us, Cody Rhodes. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Let's make that comeback. Cody Rhodes. Oh, oh, it looked a little sloppy there. And now it looks like, I was going to say, oh, I was going to say it looked like Cody Rhodes. It's a little unsure. But now we're going after Bobby Lashley. Oh, we're going to slam him? Wow, what? Athleticism and power by Cody Rhodes. And now, should we have... I think we're going to help him. Oh, oh, what a move. Oh, I almost thought I was going to eliminate myself as Jay Uzo. <laughs> it's coming in. I'm telling you, these rumbles, man, are just way too fun. Okay, here, I got to get out of the way. I am trying my best, man. Bringing my best here. And when I do these videos... It's one and done, baby. If I do well, fantastic. If I do horrible, you're going to see it. And that's the whole theme with this channel. You will see whatever <laughs> I record in one shot. It's Rey Mysterio coming in at 17. And how about this? Cody Rhodes looking for an opportunity. Well, I'm going to see what I should do here. I'm just going to relax for a little bit. Let the dust settle. Let the dust settle. And sometimes I like to do this, waiting for an opportunity to pounce. All right? Waiting for an opportunity to pounce here. A Sheamus going against Uzo. We're, we're kind of protected here. Let's see what happens. Oh, he's trying to get, us, get him on the top rope, get Uzo. But he couldn't. And again, we're just going to continue to wait for a little bit. These guys, man. 
These guys have forgotten about us. This is smart tactics, in my opinion. This is what I call smart tactics. Let's go after... Look at this. Kofi Kingston. Oh, there goes Mysterio. Oh, no. And Kingston. Oh, come on, baby. Oh, come on, baby. No, oh, I hear. Oh, no. No. Oh, man. And now. Oh. Oh, big time eliminations. Guys are getting eliminated left, right, and center. Oh, this isn't good for us. Oh, man, don't tell me. Oh, how come he didn't get eliminated? What shenanigans. As there was just a... Oh, man, so many eliminations there. There we go. Here we go. Let's see if we can get our, our finisher. Oh, come on. You know, maybe we go after Bobby Lashley here. Here comes Nakamura at 18. Corbin's got to mind his own business, brother. Help. Oh. <laughs> Nobody can do it. <laughs> Nobody can do it. Oh, there goes Kofi Kingston. What a job by Nakamura. And he's coming after us. He is coming after us. Look at him. Don't do it, brother. Don't do it. Oh, big shot. Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes taking his chances from the skies. Cedric Alexander. And here he is. <laughs> oh, man. How about this finisher? Wow. Unreal, brother. Down. And Cedric Alexander. He's looking to... Take my catch here. Oh, no. Come on. Man. Not giving me any space. I'm going after Bobby Lashley here. Three. Two. Omos, the big man. Wow, we're going to be in tough here. Pedigree. Oh, look at this move, man. Cody Rhodes has some unreal moves. Here we go. Oh, another finisher. Stunning. Corbin. And now, finally, are we going to eliminate him? We do. And again, let's rest. Oh, no. Oh, man. Nakamura not giving us an opportunity to rest. And we are completely exhausted here at this point. Austin Theory. Oh, nice little leg drag. Oh, wow. We just get... We're just getting shoved from side to side here, it seems. As Bobby Lashley's been in there for quite some time, but we got him stunned. We got him stunned. And let's see, is he gonna go? He goes! This is on the hardest setting, by the way. Yeah. What's our um, health look situation looking like? Not too bad. Ricochet at 22. All right, Ricochet at 22. Look at Nakamura. He can't come at you. He can't come at us. Cedric Alexander has set a, a beautiful pick. Or a roadblock. Bam. Here we go. Here we go. Taking the chances. What moves? Cody Rhodes. And now. Let's see. Here it is. Oh. I think we can get rid of him now. What a job by Ricochet. Now, Nakamura, Gunther. Oh, oh. Oh, come on. Another. Oh, there's the right hands. We let him hang out there, and then he goes. He kind of gave up. He kind of gave up, but Cody Rhodes is doing the unthinkable. Still early, though. Not too early, man. Not too early, but look at our health on the bottom left. Hanging in there. Doing a decent job. Drew McIntyre at 24. Let's go, brother. Oh, no. I didn't even see Ricochet there. I was looking left. Uh oh. A fresh Drew McIntyre could be problems. Oh, but we're going to... Oh, I tried to give him... Oh, I tried to give him my 
Signature. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, can I get up? Oh, luckily we were saved by Austin Theory. Here comes Zack Ryder at 25. Let's see if we can go after. Oh, I'm going to give up on it. Going to give up on it. There goes Gunther. Oh, man. I am just not doing well. This is what happens to me. When things don't go well, they don't go well for a long time. <laughs> As now we're trying to hit the finisher on this giant. Oh. Oh. Wow, what a reversal. Cody Rhodes still in there, people. Montez Ford at 26. And now we're going after Ricochet as things are heating up. Oh, oh yeah, beautiful drop kick. I'm telling you, Cody Rhodes is looking mighty fine here in the best shape of his life. Okay, we got to be careful. I don't want to take my chances and try to go for a clothesline too close. Oh, he gave us a... And he's stepping right on us. Ricochet's trying to help us. Who's coming in now? Oh, it's The Rock! <laughs> Do you smell? La 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 la! Oh no! No, I was looking at The Rock! No! I was looking at The Rock, man! Nah! That is so bad! I felt like I was hanging in there, doing some good things. But I looked left for the entrance of The Rock and got ambushed by Drew McIntyre. But let's see. I think The Rock turned 50. Is he 50 years old? Let's see if old man Rock could put together something special. I don't think um, the WWE, though, would want The Rock to win the Rumble unless... He agrees to fight at WrestleMania. Who knows, man? But let me know <laughs> who you think is going to win the Rumble. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. This is just... It's so disappointing when you're right in there and then you get eliminated as Ricochet trying to work his magic. Montez Ford in there. Jinder Mah Mahal. Let's see how Jinder does. As Omos and Austin Theory fighting it out. And now Jinder going after Drew McIntyre. Already you're seeing The Rock kind of slow down, brother. You're seeing The Rock slow down. Oh, and The Rock kind of tripp tripping over his own feet. Ricochet. And here we go. Oh, Ford is still in there. Oh, no, I jinxed him. Oh, no, there goes The Rock. And there goes Omos. Unbelievable. You would think that The Rock would be in there late, man. He's got the stats. He definitely has the stats, man. But now, let's see what happens. Drew McIntyre, Ricochet, Austin Theory, Zack Ryder, and Jinder Mahal. And now, Drew McIntyre. Oh, going right to the turbuckle, trying to shake the old cobwebs. I really like what Ricochet's doing. I'm telling you, Ricochet, oh, he just missed there. Trying to, uh, I think he was trying to kick John Cena. <laughs> you can't see it. <laughs> Too funny, man. Yeah, that was a bad, another bad joke for the record. But let's see, coming in at 29, Humberto. And let's see how Humberto does. There goes Ryder. Wow. And now we have. Jinder, Humberto, Austin, Drew, and Ricochet. As we are now down to the final five. Well, we have one more. One more entry. Who is coming in at 30? Who could it be? Could it be Hulk Hogan? <laughs> Who's it going to be at 30? Brock Lesnar! Brock Lesnar! Let's see what happens here, man. See what Brock Lesnar could do. Coming in late. And he's known for coming in late, huh? He's known for coming in late, getting a gift at 30. Nice job by Ricochet, not being intimidated whatsoever. 
giving him a slap right to the chest. And this is a rumble of upsets, man. This is a rumble of upsets as Drew McIntyre looking just, he is just a physical specimen, isn't he? Just so strong, so big. As Humberto with a nice job there on Austin Theory. And Austin Theory still hanging in, brother. Still hanging in. Oh, on the receiving end of a vicious kick. And now you got Ricochet and Brock Lesnar battling it out. But Ricochet is holding his own, which is very impressive. There goes Jinder. Jinder Mahal. And now Drew McIntyre ambushing Brock Lesnar. And now Drew going after Ricochet. This is a great final five. Austin Theory's been taking his licks, but he's staying right in there. Humberto still inside this rumble. And mounting a, a, a nice offensive set throughout the course of this rumble. And his feud with Austin Theory is... Pretty epic. They're going back and forth. Oh, a nice job there by Brock Lesnar. And now Drew McIntyre having Ricochet right on the ropes. I'm telling you, Drew McIntyre's just so tough. He's eliminated him. Sad times for Ricochet, who put together just a memorable rumble, even in the simulation here. As now you got Brock Lesnar going after Humberto. And he's doing great things, man, with his strength. But nice job by Humberto, fighting back. <laughs> he is fighting right back, man. <laughs> Big shots. Oh, but I'm telling you, Brock's strength. And his wrestling power, and nice belly to belly, and just kind of ragdolled him. Is what's giving him the advantage. And don't tell me Austin Theory's gonna be done. I'm telling you, Drew McIntyre is a machine. He's eliminated him. Now it's down to the final three. Brock Lesnar, Drew McIntyre, and Humberto is getting flipped over, and here we go. Brock Lesnar and Drew McIntyre. Lesnar, nice job. I love what Lesnar did, took his back. Oh, what's this power slam? Lesnar with the early advantage. Let's see, is he gonna, oh, for a second I thought he was gonna throw him over. Now Drew McIntyre needs to recover here. He can't be on the receiving end of too many of these <laughs> suplexes. Just fantastic kind of Greco-Roman style wrestling here by Brock Lesnar. Staying in tight. Throwing Drew McIntyre from one end to the other. And now Lesnar gaining the advantage. Is he going to throw him over right away? It looks like it's over. Brock Lesnar has done it unbelievable Brock Lesnar has done it I cannot believe this man I cannot believe that Brock Lesnar has won it and he won it in 2022 is he gonna repeat in 2023 who knows, man? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> this is so fun. Was hoping to get the dub, brother. Was hoping to get the dub, but we came up a little short. But I just had such a blast just doing this, man. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. And I cannot wait to read your comments. This is Ricky J. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.